trying to be a parent, but I got to run an errand. I promise when I'm back, I'm going to feed my kid a carrot. Damn, this stuff is tough, man. I thought it was inherent. I'm trying to be a parent. I'm trying to be a parent. Sometimes you got to drink because that shit can be kind of stressful. Sometimes you hit the blunt because that green will help you rest, yo. You know your ass be slacking when you got to look up things on YouTube. Like, bro, how you wipe your baby boo-boo? Now welcome to the podcast. Trying to parent and make moms laugh. Who you know got, got it like, like the King's family, family. Amanda, Amanda and Sean is the name, G. Yeah. yeah. Now welcome to the podcast. Trying to parent and make pops laugh. Who you know got, got it like the King's family. family. Amanda, Amanda and Sean is the name, G. G. Yeah. yeah. Welcome. Ooh. Episode 37. We are back at it again. Happy Sunday, y'all. It's a Sunday, the 30th, last 30th of your life. Last 30th <laughs> of July. <laughs> so, yep. <laughs> last Sunday of July, July is what I meant, but we'll rock with it. Oh, goodness. It's been a action-packed week for us. It really has been. A lot of, a lot of different things going on. But if you're unaware of where you're at, if you just stumbled in here, this is the Trying to Parent Podcast, and you're welcome to stay. Please do. She's Amanda. I'm Sean. Hi. We're the Kings. Let's get into it. Uh, actually, I guess we start with, uh, you know, social media and stuff. Don't blow the people's ear out. Let's get social. Social. With social media. <laughs> Let's get social. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh Yes, you guys mm -hmm. can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Trying the Number Two Parent. You can also find us on YouTube at Trying Space the Number Two Space Parent. Yes, and please uh, be nice. Give us a good rating wherever you're listening. Follow, subscribe, uh, five stars if you would ever be so kind. Because we think we're kind of cool. Hopefully, you think we're kind of cool too. We're getting cooler. And to be honest with you, the only thing that's really going to matter is how cool do our kids think we are? <laughs> do you even want your kids to think you're cool? Yeah, or like that. Do you want know. them to respect you? Respect. Nah, I just want them to think I'm cool. I'll probably respect hey, you. Hey, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have them call me by my first name. No. First name basis around here. Goodness gracious. Uh, also, maybe next week. Yeah, we'll see, because, wait, yeah, that would be... Right before conference, I right think? Right before conference, yeah, so... Um, this is crazy. Listen closely. 360-450-5008. I think we're going to maybe try and get a caller to call in next week. Nice. Um, so if you're interested... Could be you. Reach <laughs> out to us. Let us know. As you see the balloon floating behind Amanda, if you are watching on the YouTube, we're having a baby boy. A boy. Like we said, a lot has happened this week. Um, we were not expecting a boy. No. So I guess we didn't talk about last last episode. We talked about going to the doctors and. We were concerned, like, hey, we want to make sure that everything's good with the baby. It's always, you know, just, it's constantly concerning. It's a little bit concerned, less concerning now, but yeah, still going into last one was kind of concerning. Yeah, just because, I don't know, I just, it's going too well. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I have my little things, but it's like I hear all these stories about just how many Women have the shittiest pregnancy, and I'm just like, I'm really not doing that bad. I'm like, it's pretty, going good over here. I'm chilling. Uh, so, which like, is cause for concern in most cases, where you're like, hmm. is something wrong? Is the baby not developing? Like, are you not feeding off of me the way you're supposed yeah. to be? You know, but yeah. Went every, to the doctors. Did the outside of the vagina ultrasound? The yeah, over the skin. Our first abdomen ultrasound. Mm-hmm. Not our first, her first. Yeah. He hasn't been doing any ultrasounds on me. <laughs> He's like, Sean, you got a lot of gas and you should probably fart more. Um, doesn't say I, that to Amanda. No, I do that enough for the both of us. But, of course, that was like, 
when we were going to be able to figure out the gender. That was our 16 week visit. Mm -hmm. And we went in there and we told them right away, like, hey, we don't want to find out what the baby's gender is going to be. Uh, so do us a favor. Yeah, we said, we want you to write it down. Don't say it out loud because we want to have a part, a gender reveal party. He's like, oh, okay, got you. So we're also like, don't sh show us like as far as I don't want to see it on the ultrasound um, if we could even see it. But uh, he made sure to say, you know what, I'll have you guys look away. I'll tell you when we're going over that portion of the body because yeah. there's other things that you want to see. The brain, the spine, the hands, the feet, yeah. that type of stuff. Oh, cute things. You felt like you saw a little peak of something. Oh, yeah. So... Was that peak correct? No, the peak was not correct. I thought I she saw thought a hamburger. She saw a hamburger. <laughs> I thought I saw a hamburger. It was French fry. <laughs> Pizza, French fry. So that was kind of even more of a surprise than when we opened the box because I was like, oh shit, I was wrong. But obviously, like, well, not obviously, but just like ultrasounds in general, I have fucking no idea what I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that looks like a wiener. It's like, <laughs> no, that's his face. You know, oh, okay. <laughs> And it's just so funny, like, especially how they can just see and focus in and zoom on so many different parts, like very specific parts of the baby, mm -hmm. like all within like two, three inches on your stomach. Like, I don't understand that. I don't know how it works. Obviously, he's the ultrasound man. So, yeah. so he knew what he was doing. And uh, again, made us look away and all that stuff. And. Uh, then put it in an envelope, and that's when we walked out and made the little video. And some people were like, did you guys know what it was? I'm like, no. No, we did not. I did not know what it was. As much as you guys knew, we knew. I just hope the people at the party store put the correct thing in the box because they didn't give me the paper back. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> next time we go in to the doctors, we'll be like, hey, boy, right? Can you show us the wiener? Because... Uh, I'm sure mistakes like that happen. I wonder, Hopefully not. I wonder often. if he wrote boy or girl on there or Nino or Nina because some of those can be pretty similar as the far as... A and the O it yeah. could look... yeah. Especially well, if he writes in cursive. It's just like, fuck, we don't know. Because we really thought we were having a girl. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of a little more relieved that we're having a boy first, but should, I really would have been be happy easier. either way. Like, I'm just... I'm just happy baby's healthy, measuring right on track, everything. Mm -hmm. We saw the four heart chambers, like crazy. Yep. We had that conversation too because, man, when we did the reveal, first of all. Here's the deal, man. Here's the deal, man. I was like. What? <laughs> what? Boy? Was not expecting that. All of our eggs were in the girl basket. Because of, you know, just kind of some other things. I mean, everyone on my side of the family, as far as my parents, both my mom and my dad, both had girls first in their families. And then my, my parents had girl first with my older sister. My sister had girl first. And so we just kind of thought like, you know, um, probably going to be a girl. Now, some kind of dead giveaways is aren't girls supposed to be harder on your body as far as like the way that you feel all of that's probably complete bullshit anyways but i don't know they do like rumor has it if you feel better it's probably a boy which in that aspect it kind of fits right in but that's kind of what some other other people said is maybe the first pregnancy we had was a girl and this yes. is you know our second one and definitely could have been that for sure could have been that Mm. But um, I don't even know what I was talking about. Uh, feeling better and therefore having a boy. It just kind of like why we were we were kind of thrown off. So everyone suggested we were having a girl. Yeah, a lot, um, of, a lot of people thought we were having a girl as well. Yeah, and then I thought I saw the hamburger mm -hmm. when the doctor was showing us the foot. Yeah, they showed us the, the, the hands and the toes. We also the, measured yeah. like the femur and the tibula Did he? he's gonna be like 
That motherfucker's gonna be six Actually, six. So. <laughs> um, the this is wait, which bone is this? Ooh, the asking thigh, the wrong guy. The hip to the knee. It's the big one. That's the biggest bone in your body. I'm pretty sure that's the fibula. One of them was measuring a little short. No. Oh. One was like 15 weeks, four days. And the other, and all the rest of them were 16 two, which is actually one day ahead because I was 16. Oh, wait, no, I was 16 two days. So it was, everything else basically was right on track except that one little bone. But that could have been like off on his measuring thing. Like it's wherever yeah. he puts the markers. And if those aren't exactly correct, so no, meh. Who knows? But uh, anyways, boy. So one nice thing about that. Oh, that's what I was talking about. Or what I was trying to remember us talking about is the conversation of like, I was definitely surprised that we were having boy um, when we did the reveal, but it wasn't like I was excited. I wasn't, you see some reveals and people are like, fucking yes, God, boy, hell yeah. (laughs) Or women are like, girl, like, you know, whoever, whatever they want. They're super stoked about it. And to be completely honest with you guys, I couldn't have cared less if it was a boy or a girl. Yeah. Really didn't matter to me. The most important thing, of course, was having a healthy baby and just getting the opportunity to have a baby. Mm-hmm. We would like one of both. Now that we found out it's boy, I've kind of thought about it a little bit more and been like, well, this is probably the best case scenario because then if we, when we shoot for a second one, if it's a boy, it's like, okay, you know, two boys manageable but if we had a girl first and then you try again and you have a second girl you're like now i have two girls two girls is a lot and holy shit if i even think about trying for another kid and it's a girl (laughs) we got a real situation on our hands having amanda outmanned is not that big of a deal because she's the mom and with boys, you know, you tend to get mama's boys. Mm-hmm. So she's probably going to be more in favor anyways. But. That's right. Yeah, I think it ended up working out the right way. Which is so funny because I feel like everybody we know is Has having girls. girls. <laughs> I mean, besides Michael and mm-hmm. Mariah, like they have Javi. But I really know anybody else that had a boy. I mean, I my, my oldest brother had a boy first. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. I think it's 40. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, but no, all of our like close friends and stuff, like they oh, all. Nicole had a boy. Yeah, first. I was yeah. going to say Nicole. But but yeah, majority of our friends. So like last year, um, Brittany had a boy. Um, but you did have a boy. Yeah. So, Look at that. I can't think about it. I'm kind of skewing the uh, results but here. A lot of our friends were pregnant at the same time and they all had girls. It was three girls. Mm hmm. And they were all friends with each, like very close friends with each other. Yeah. Well, yeah. Two of them were sisters. and Another was like the best friend. And they were all pregnant at the same time with girls. And then now Nicole's pregnant again with a girl. And that was just like, you know, a little boy heavy. Like we're having a boy, Elizabeth and Keith. Um, Amanda's brother is having a boy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I don't know. Probably some other people. One of our <laughs> other buddies is pregnant with his second child and oh, he's yeah. hoping for a boy mm-hmm. but yeah was not expecting boy it's gonna be pretty around. cool looking forward to like knowing where the dick is at and the other stuff like i just kind of know that my way around I a mean. male body <laughs> so does amanda <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, i don't know how to clean any of that you do it's all that you way easier that. to clean i bet <laughs> and then we're gonna have to bring up the topic of the circumcision thing like that's a a real topic that you know yeah, we're going to have to figure out that's something that we are for or against. and Something much less popular outside of the U.S., but everything has its positives and its negatives. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's one of those things. So that'll be a discussion at some point. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so one of the really cool things was the experience that we got to share with our friends. Yeah. I mean, living out here in Mexico, you're like, okay, we're going to do this, and it's most likely going to be, you know, alone. Yeah, because my first thought was like, okay, so we're just going to get the envelope from the doctor, come home, and then open it while we're sitting on our couch, you know. And then it's like, oh, shit. My 
man of honor at the wedding and one of your best men were here at the exact same time. Mm-hmm. How it's just like the joy that I felt being able to share that with people that we care about in person. It was just really cool. It, I wasn't expecting it at all. So the fact that we got to have that moment with them and just like, um, you know, Michael and Mariah and, and their son, Javi, they were really the first people we told when we were pregnant the first time. They were the first people they we were. told. They were, yeah, even before our parents because we went out to their house for Thanksgiving and Michael's like, yo, you want a drink? And we're like, huh? surprise, <laughs> we're pregnant. And then the next day on Thanksgiving, we called our parents. Yep. So, I mean, it's just like being able to reshare that in a more positive time with them and just have like my best friend Mason and his mom and brother and then our other friends out here and it was really cool yes and again it wasn't like it was just friends like we had some of our closest people to us here Mm -hmm. so that was really cool really awesome to be able to experience that with them and it just worked out so perfectly and you know I feel like that's how things go especially you know for us lately is they just kind of Working out. Got my fucking AC fixed. Things are working out. (laughs) Except Tuesday was like, besides going to the doctor, Tuesday was fucking rough. Oh, man. We had a (laughs) flat tire. We noticed it at like, oh, oh, real quick. So last weekend, because you noticed the flat, you noticed the tire when we were leaving BBVA. And then it made Mm -hmm. me think about all these things. So. I didn't get our gas bill on time. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm hungry. All right, well, we yeah. haven't really had that much today. Um, so, like, they put the gas bills in, like, a thing down on the first floor. We live on the second floor. So, it's, like, up to you to go down and get it. Well, I didn't get this one until a couple of days too late. And you could pay it at the gas station, which out here is called OXO. Um, and I tried to take it to the gas station, and I was, like, Two days too late. It was due on the 18th. I went on the 20th and they're like, you can't pay it here. And I was like, okay, well, where do I go to pay it? And they're like, oh, go to BBVA or to Bancomer and pay it there. And I was like, okay. So that was Saturday afternoon. The banks close at 2.30. It was like 2.25. So I was like, cool, I'll go first thing Monday morning. So we go to the bank Monday morning and then we walk in there and he's like, it's the 22nd. This was due on the 18th. I'm like, yeah, the people at OXO told me I could pay it here. He's like, no, you got to pay it here. And he clicks on or touches the address on the top, which is in Cancun. (laughs) You have to to be shitting me. I'm not driving an hour to pay my gas bill. This gas bill is $9. (laughs) Bro, you you take the $9 here. You get it to them. (laughs) And, And then so when we walked out of the bank, that's when Sean was like, hey, our tire looks a little low. tire looks a little low. I'm like, Eh, I guess the other one kind of looks a little low, too. Not a huge deal. Yeah, so we're like, well, okay, whatever. And and then so I'm, like, messaging the landlord, like, bro, there's got to be another fucking way to pay this. And he's like, oh, yeah, I can do it on bank transfer. He's like, I'll do it right now. So I, it was 95 pesos. I had a $100 peso bill that we gave him, whatever. Thanks so, for your time. Appreciate yeah, your like, help. Yeah, I can, that was so much easier. Um, anyway, so then we go to go, to, so that was Monday. We, had, we go to the gym in the morning, so we didn't use the car for the rest of Monday. Tuesday morning, we go to go to the doctor's office, and our tire is, f- I mean, full. It couldn't be any more <laughs> flat. You would think fucking at least six motherfucking dudes were sleeping in the car because <laughs> it flattened it so flat. So, like, okay, we got to change it. Let's go to the back and pull out the little... Oh, wait, actually, no. No, we, we took we a didn't cab. Change it. We took the cab to the doctor. Yeah, we took a cab, did the doctor stuff, got back, and then we're like, probably going to need the car later at some point. No, because we had to go to dinner with yeah, Ma- Mike, Michael and Mariah later. Yeah, so we're so like, okay. We should change it now because, you know, one, it's, it's only, only going to get hotter outside. And let me tell you, it's summertime. <laughs> isn't it great? It's summertime when everything's great. No. Oh my god. Boy, oh boy, was it hot. It's fucking hot. It's like it, 90 and like 70% humidity. It was hot. Mother Nature's like, put some respect on my name. <laughs> it's hot out here. So we have the little jack that's in the that comes with the car. It's yeah. in the back. It's like, you know, part of the deal that they give you. We have that little jack. 
And then we had this other thing that was in our trailer that Amanda walked over and grabbed that we thought was a jack, like also another lift. And what it actually was, was just a lift stand. Yeah. So once you jack the car up, you can set it on that stand, remove your jack, and maybe go jack another part of the car up, whatever. And so yeah. our jack that we have that came with the car, I mean, the tire was so flat that I tried to put the jack in like one spot and I cranked it all the way up and it wasn't high enough. And so like, fuck, okay, what do we, what do we do? So yeah, like the spring on the wheel because our tires are, our car is like slightly lifted. It has like a bit of a lift to it. Yeah. So <laughs> it just, it wasn't working out the way like the, the spring tire was extended. still so low to the ground, even if the car was being jacked up. Like. Yeah. The wheel well was like still super low. So we're like, all right, fuck, we got to move this, put it in another spot so we can jack that spot up higher. And the actual jack that comes with the car, I mean, good Lord, it doesn't lift it that it's like, high. I, it, Just come on. I don't even know how tall. Do it better, goes. 2007 <laughs> Kia. <laughs> so we end up figuring it out. Like we had to let like all the air out of the new tire. All so, the air out of the new tire. Okay. I mean, all of it. First of all, we had to figure out how to release the tire from the bottom of the car, which took a minute to do. And then on top of that, we had to again. Did I mention it was hot? Um, it's hot as shit <laughs> so outside, so like, everything's at. Ag- you're agitated. You're like, oh man, this is not going well, man. Like, why is this not working? Um, I did jack a car up once, and it fell off the jack. And it, luckily, nothing happened to us. It wasn't that high up, but mm-hmm. if I was under there or something, yeah, I'm gonna crush my hand or finger or something. But we end up getting it jacked up to the point where we can slide the tire on if we get all of the air out of the tire. So I'm sitting on the tire while we're taking the air out of the mm-hmm. new tire, we I can get it on and get it, like kick it a little bit and shit and it gets <clears> on there and it went from zero it. PSI back up to 30. Yeah. We reflate it and, uh, or inflate it. <laughs> we reinflated, re, 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 <laughs> re inflated it. Yeah. I just had a stroke there. <laughs> um, so that was like, I mean, frustrating. So you come, you come back and take a shower. Oh yeah. He takes a shower. Remember those sweaty, uh, sweaty toilet shits? I mean, I felt (laughs) like it was like the same temperature out there as it is in our toilet bathroom. So I was like, I have to. Way hotter outside. Have to shower. So he gets in the shower. I, for whatever reason, I think I like go back to work for a little bit, and so I'm just like gross. Unbelievable. And so I'm like, yeah, I'm like. It's like an hour later or something like that. I don't know why I waited that long. Because then our fucking power goes out. Oh, that's right. The <laughs> fucking power went out again. That was that that's day. That's right. Woo. So Boy. I'm like, oh my God. And then so I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. I'll just take a shower. But our water pump must be electric on the roof. And so we had no water pressure. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> And we had some like work things coming up. I'm like, man, I got this guy. I'm trying to get him this policy right now. Just like, it was just no power. So we're hanging out for like I don't know, a maybe, couple hours. Yeah. It was at, like two hours. At least two hours. We're hanging out about two hours. And in the and living then the power room, just sitting there. Kicked on for like literally a minute. Yeah. And we're like, sweet. Thank God. That was a really long time. But, you know, let's get back to our shit. And then boom, it shuts back off, and we're like, "You suck!" <laughs> like, no. Hey. Like, all right, we'll wait a little bit longer. You know, we end up waiting like I don't know. The power went out at two. I think we waited till like four forty-five. I would say probably four fifteen is when we contacted oh. Mason because I don't remember what time we ended up getting. I think we got to Mason's place at like 4.45. Oh, yeah, pr- yeah, probably. So we contacted our buddy Mason, who's staying down here, and we're like, hey, can we get the keys to your place? We need internet. Amanda needs a shower, and we have dinner you know, arrangements with our friends tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, and we don't have any power. And this place gets like a sauna real quick yeah, when feels, there's no air movement in here. I feel so bad for Nina. Yeah. So was tough, very tough for her. 
So we leave, we do the stuff at Mason's house, she showers, I help the guy get a policy, we go meet our friends for dinner, we go pick them up. Um, at the resort. And at the resort, to which you can't go inside to actually pick people up, so they had to come outside. That was annoying. But we go to dinner, have a very nice, you know, tasty dinner at a place that we really enjoy. And then go drop them back off, come back home, and apparently, like, right as we were getting home... It's like 9.15, 9.30 at this point. The power kicks on. Like, right as we get home. And so Nina was hanging out here essentially the entire day without any power, without any air in here. And then without any lights. Without any lights, because, you know, well, for a portion this, of the time yeah. when it got dark. But, oh God, I felt so boy, bad. that sucked. It makes me really sad to think about. Like, I feel so bad for Nina. I don't like that aspect of living out here no and it's like only this complex because like we went to mason's everything was fine there yep and it's like the the shitty part about it is that we don't have cell service in here like in our house at all really so when the power goes out obviously the wi-fi goes out we can't even use our phones yeah we have to like go outside i have to go like we have to go on our balcony and then, like, put our phone over the edge of the balcony for, like, anything to that. send. You literally, you have to go outside. Like, you have to go outside the Like, complex. downstairs, out, like, away f- away from the building. It, f- it fucking sucks. I mean, again, second world problems. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> everything ain't. <laughs> it's not all rainbows all the time. Biscuits and gravies yeah. here. I love biscuits and gravy. Yeah, it ain't biscuits and gravy all the time. Yeah. So, so, that, so that was Tuesday. And then Thursday was a gender reveal. Yep. Also... You know how we talked about um, last week, the baby teeth thing? Oh, yeah. My mom <laughs> saved my sister and my baby teeth. Oh, I know. She listened to the podcast episode and she texts us and she's like, I still have their baby teeth. Yeah, get Sean goes, gross. <laughs> Fucking gross, mom. That's so Why? weird. What are you going to do Why? with them? You make me a necklace? You make Ugh. me a necklace? You're going to put it in a little jar so we can keep it with our other jars of sand? No. Oh. Another thing that happened. Oh, yeah, that's another thing that happened. Big old thunder lightning storm. Big one. That I was mean, Friday. That one thunder that cracked, that was so loud. I was helping a client, and he's like, holy shit, dude, that was so loud. I'm like, yeah, man. Uh, it's coming down out here. God. So Amanda had left the house thinking that, uh, you know, she was going to leave Nina with me or whatever, and... I didn't even realize that she left because I was on the phone the entire time. And Nina ends up like getting behind one of our stand up planter things and with all of our sand and these glass bottles behind it or on it. And she knocks, knocks it down. She'll knock like everything off the shelf. <laughs> it's a ladder shelf. So there's like, yeah, multi- ladder shelf. like multi-tiered. And yeah. luckily only a few of the little sand bottle things broke. Some yeah. of them landed in a old potting plant thing that we had, and it wasn't a huge deal. But uh, luckily, the ones that she did break weren't important, like the Mexico sand. Mexico, we can get more of that. Florida, Florida, who gives a fuck? We'll, we're going there in October, anyways. Oh yeah, true. And <laughs> and then uh, Bali, yeah. It, but we had a white sand and a black sand Bali, and she broke the white sand one. So oh. I'm less upset about that. Black power. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, there's been a lot of stuff that has happened this week. Um, And then last night, we had a majority of everyone over for the fights. Oh, yeah. And we went to go pick. (laughs) Went to go pick up food for everybody. (laughs) So, everybody came over kind of earlier, and we were, you know, having some drinks at the pool and just kind of hanging out and enjoying the sun and whatnot. And then, you know, later we order some food. We come inside to watch the UFC fights. We head over to pick up the food and we're gone for like 20 minutes and then we come back and Mason had accidentally dropped a 40 ounce glass beer bottle, a 40 ounce, 40 ounce, big old 40 and just like beer and glass everywhere, all over the floor. I mean, it was like a fucking frat. The floors were so sticky. They were so sticky. I'm like, ugh, this brings back very weird memories. I'm just really glad that I didn't wash the floors on Saturday to try and like have the house clean because I was like, oh, there's like baby and like a bunch of people. We'll just clean on Sunday. Thank God. Thank God. They did a pretty shit job cleaning it up too. Yeah. Um, But 
everyone's been drinking all day, they're probably like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, so that was that was cool. But found this new candy really like. We had looked at it before, considered buying it at the grocery store before, and we like kind of, I don't know, it seems a little weird. Some of the friends we had over bought it. They bought a ate them, bunch of them. And I'm like, oh, my God. Those are good. This is definitely my new thing. So a lot has happened, yeah. like we said. It's 30 minutes into the podcast. Let's oh, get into Jesus the uh, okay. other stuff here. Soon we'll be discussing boy names because we're having a boy. A lot of people have been asking me, like, immediately. Oh, yeah. my God, you're What's having the a name? boy. What's the name? I'm like, well, I actually just found out it was a boy, so... Give me some time to think about it. <laughs> yeah, we got a list of names that we like, but we got to figure out what's right, what feels good. And like we talked about before, it's not like everything fucking goes with King. It's like, you know, some things are... You want something that sounds right. Mm-hmm. You got to say it out loud in different moods and in different times. Mm -hmm. And And I'm going to be honest with you, Sean King flows very nice. Just saying Sean is kind of a difficult name. Sean. If you're not really good with like your enunciation, people hear a lot of different things. John. Um, Especially people out here. But yeah, John. uh, But Amanda King, like there's just easy names like that go well. We don't want a very basic, normal name. No, Sean's and Amanda's over here. Yeah, that everybody (laughs) else wants. Not like Sean and Amanda are bad names. They're just very common. Mm -hmm. And of course, a lot of other people are going to have. You're not going to think of a name that nobody else has unless you're pulling some shit out of a hat. Like some of these NFL players and stuff. I feel bad for those guys. But we just want something that's a little bit more less common. You know, a little less common, but still goes with king. Mm -hmm. And so it's not as easy to find, but we shall find it. Yes. So talk about that soon. Um, I was thinking about this. You know, one of the reasons I feel like we ended up getting a boy is a lot of the times they say people get girls, guys get girls, because they need to, like, soften their hearts. They're like... Oh, yeah. Manly men, and, you know, they don't cry, and it's just like... I'm a hard ass, and then you get a girl, and you're like, have to. I'm changed. And yeah, made me better. Up. Whoever I was gonna say, God, but whoever is like, nah, dude, you kind of got the heart of a puss. So no, you don't. we'll give you a boy, and it's you're, you'll totally be fine, <laughs> uh, because you know I don't need any softening going on in my heart. But I did think about you that. Have a really. beautiful heart. Thanks, baby. Um. I guess I already mentioned that we're still sweating while we're shitting. Hmm. Uh, I am shitting much better, knock on wood. I don't know what's going on. Well, actually, I switched from black tea to green tea, Mm -hmm. but I actually just bought more black tea, so this will be a little trial to see if it's the black tea. That makes it hard. Pun intended. (laughs) Pooping uh, (laughs) pooping well over here. Um, I think we can talk about... The oh, book. What's going on in week 17? Week 17. All righty. Let's see where we are at. A little baby fat. Your baby is accumulating a ton of subcutaneous fat. Hmm. That's good. This week, as it continues to grow at a rapid rate, the baby is the size of a pomegranate. You guys with these fucking sizes. I mean, be consistent. Pomegranate? You said the other week it was like a CD and like all of these different things that... And my app said it was a CD. I don't even know what a pomegranate... Pomegranate, it's like the size of a dragon fruit. Well, there's big dragon fruits and there's small dragon fruits. It's just the consistency here. Yes, come on. Can't be that difficult. Um, Let's see here. It says... And one of the coolest things is that more than likely... Uh, goes down this week as they can begin to hear you. What? So grab your tap shoes, top hat, cane, and whatever old theater props you have left over from high school or college. Neither of us did that. I'd rather not. And warm up the living room stage to offer some entertainment for this little developing mind. I think you could talk a little bit about the music thing that we spoke about. Oh, yeah. But this guy goes, or if you're like me, after your partner goes to sleep, you'll be putting Bo's headphones over her stomach and shuffling stand-up routines from some of your favorite comics through iTunes. I can get down with hmm. that. Okay. <laughs> uh, Daddy Doula, sign up for childbirth classes. 
My wife and I never got around to taking these, but I wish that we would have. I definitely want to figure out how to like wrap the baby and do other things with the baby that, you know, I'm supposed to know how to do, I guess, yeah. naturally. Um, let's see some baby stats. Baby's bones are getting stronger as they harden from cartilage. Uh, baby is beginning to develop sweat glands. Sweat. Uh -oh. It's important. You definitely want to be able to sweat. The umbilical cord is strengthening and thickening. That's good. Your stats. Mom's belly continues to grow and her center of gravity is shifting, which much might make her clumsier. Oh, God. Uh oh, it's not good. Pregnancy brain is in full effect. For you? Yes. Yeah, I've been, I think it's been wearing off on me. I've been struggling with words, things, thoughts, memories, really anything. Could be the uh, Alzheimer's. Sympathy pains. Her blood flow is increasing, as are flows of other fluids in her body. She may have the occasional bloody nose. Ooh. She's also gaining weight more rapidly than before. Hmm. That's we'll true. And as her skin stretch stretches, she may notice itching all over her body. Lotion or coconut oil or what do you use? Bag bomb? Bag bomb. Bag bomb. I don't want to use that permanently, though. Yeah. It's so greasy. Do you think that's pretty greasy? I feel like it's not too bad. Um, she said, he said, I buy my wife coconut oil because it doesn't have a fragrance and it's is and it's natural. Coconut oil does have a fragrance. Kind of like smells coconut. a little bit like coconut. Um, yeah. So tells you to be patient with mommy Nisha. Small bouts of forgetfulness are common when she tries to find her keys, phone, purse, and so on and so forth. Mm. But I think you're uh, pretty good. I think we're on track. Everything's sounding good. Yep, yeah, definitely. Oh, uh, today when we went to the grocery store, I because oh, our, our grocery yes. store has a, a line called the uh, Let's Caja Especial. So like the red, the special register for elderly, uh, pregnant people. If you have an infant, if you have like a guide dog, stuff like that. <laughs> um, so I stepped in the line cause I'm like, okay, I'm starting, taking advantage of this starting shit. Monday. I'll be five months pregnant. Like, okay. Like now I don't feel like such an asshole, even though I'm perfectly capable of going to the other store, it says it's okay for pregnant people. So here we are. Yep. And they were like in Spanish, you know, like, Hey, this is a special line. Like, look at the sign. And then, so I like tightened up my shirt Bitch, I am and special. I'm like, uh, estoy cinco meses embarazada. And they're like, Oh, okay. Okay. And then, so there's respect on my name. Yeah. Like That's what she said. I'm not taking advantage of this shit. It says for pregnant, like how pregnant do you have to be? Cause mm -hmm. if you're only nine months, pregnant able to be in this line then that fucking sucks yeah but granted it was the shorter of the line so that's why i chose it but it was full advantage yeah so then there was a dude and his wife had a like a walk like a walking cane and then so he was asking the red the girl at the register like hey why the fuck is this girl in line and then so she's like oh we already asked her she's five months pregnant and he's just kind of like Ugh. but like i can kind of understand some of the words that they're saying but it's like, bitch, is that even your wife? Is she even really crippled? Like, what's that cane for? Is it just because she's fucking lazy? Talking but over here. Like, they were, like, on, giving me, like, so much shit for being in that line, like, extra double checking. And then for, like, the guy behind us to be like, hey, what, what the fuck is her problem? Why is she yeah. in this line? Then bitch, like, I'll be back next week. Same line. <laughs> exactly. What's up? So I was People just like, damn, man. Business. So, yeah, maybe you should just carry a cane as well. I'm pregnant and I have a cane. What's up? Yeah, exactly. All right. So, want to run our quick little ad again? Yes. Coloring books. Now that we know that we're having a boy. He can still draw unicorns. Unicorns. Very, yep. Imagination. It's all about imagination. So, I created these coloring books. We've got a dinosaur coloring book here and a magical rainbow unicorn coloring book over there. I also have one that I mentioned last week, multi-racial princess book. I like that one. It's accepting of all. But go ahead and check out our link tree. Um, it's on the Instagram feed. It's probably other places as well. But there will be a link directly to there, to Amazon, where you can purchase these books. Like I said, I think they're about $7.25. It's like 
at least 40 solid coloring pages. They're so for cute. The dinosaurs, the, you know, all sorts of things. I'd show you guys some of these pages. I showed you some last week, but I'd show you some other ones. But my uh, nephew started to color in them <laughs> because we had this shipped to the U.S. And yeah, because uh, shipping to Mexico. Man, Amazon here. But anyways, if you're into coloring, your child's into coloring, they make great little gifts. Um, you can obviously, instead of supporting some random Joe Schmo on uh, Amazon, you can feel support free King Family Publishing to support the Kings. I'll have many more coming out, but uh, yeah, be sure to check this out. Mm. Links in the bio. So cute. Appreciate the support, everybody. Alrighty, let's get to highs and lows of the week. Bow, bow. My leg was in the side of the chair now. I'm there. I'm a man. Oh, that's in the news. No. Not yet. That's next. Oh. Interesting. Alrighty. <laughs> so we've got highs and lows. I mean of course, our high is definitely going to be. And we found out the gender we're having a baby boy. Yeah, baby boy. Pretty freaking cool. So I think we can skip over that. Um, you can't get much higher than that. No. Unless I was high while finding out I was going to have a baby boy. But all together, I think we made the work pretty well. We went out to the beach, our normal spot, straight down the street from our house. It was mm -hmm. windy as shit. There was a hell of a you know, ton of people out there, but mm -hmm. we found a nice little spot that was a little private. And, you know. We had like a big group of people. Yeah, it was like watching. 12 of us. <laughs> Some yeah, other people like, just walking by, stopping. This other yeah. guy was just taking photos and stuff. People like that shit. Come on. Yeah. Everyone like, likes oh, it. Oh, new life. Look at these. Attractive couple. White people. <laughs> baby. Yay. So, you know, everybody's excited there. Um, did you have any other high? Just kind of wanna... Um, it's kind of not really besides, uh, you know, getting to see our friends a mm -hmm. couple times during the week. Of course. Yes. So that was, that was really good. That was kind of the highlight. Seeing way more people out here than God. we ever did in Washington. Yes, for sure. It's almost exhausting. <laughs> yeah, like, there's so many people coming in town. <laughs> we need a break, you guys. Or you can come, but we won't see you. Um, yeah. So is life. But that's high. I would say low, um, you know, not crazy lows, but the tire thing was... Annoying. Annoying. The electricity thing, the outage is, Annoying. you know, frustrating. Um, I know you were having a little bit of issues with your family and mm -hmm. that was going to be my low. Yeah. The viewing thing. So I'll let you talk about that. As far as the other things, um, being more of agitating things, not a huge deal, but I would say your low was probably also my low. Mm -hmm. My pain is your pain. Yeah. My low, I'm not going to get super into it cause it's kind of a more personal thing, but mm -hmm. as far as just, this is um, not a personal podcast. <laughs> This is a parenting fact. No, uh, just kind of like the f the tension, I guess, with a little more specifically my parents and just us being out here and them feeling left out and uh, just kind of this whole uh, pregnancy in general, I think, has been a little bit of a strain between my mom and I, which we were normally very, very close Uh when we lived down the street from them. Yeah, when we lived down the street from them. And yeah, I guess even in Washington, because I lived by my brother, it was just convenient. So now that we're not in a convenient spot, it's causing some issues. I mean, it was convenient in the fact that no other way than they had to travel someplace to see us. Yeah, so this is... Uh, that someplace just happened to be in the States and also happened to be close to her brother. Yep. So uh, that's, you know... That's probably been the most emotional ride 
since we've been out here and since being pregnant. So, but we finally had a conversation today and I kind of let her know how I was feeling. She let me know how she was feeling. So hopefully there's a positive re-blossom here, really crossing the fingers. Um, that, that's kind of been my negative for a while, but uh, it really bothered me this week. So hopefully that is a new page turned. It will either get figured out or it won't. But yep. exactly. we the kings will keep on king trucking. In. King Kong. King Kong King. King, King, King keep on. King. Oh, another thing. My mom fucking told me when we were talking about baby names not to have our kid's <laughs> name have the initials KKK in it. This fucking lady, I swear to God. And then he was just fucking with her? And I had to roast her <laughs> on a few things, but I was messaging her back because we were texting and she's like, yeah, don't have the baby's initials be KKK. Ha, ha, ha. And I'm like, oh, yeah. So I show Amanda the message. I'm like, she's got to be fucking kidding me. She's got to be joking here. I'm like, no shit. Why, mom? And she's like, because of the KKK. And then and she I'm, sends a Google link of what is the like, KKK. I don't know what the KKK is. We're like, it's and like 930. A, We're yeah. going to bed at this point. So he's like, thanks, mom. I'll read it tomorrow. She <laughs> sends me a Google link of the KKK. And then we get on the phone the next day, Uh, and I'm like, sometimes you really disappoint me. Like, (laughs) first of all, I'm half black, Mom. Like, of course I know what the KKK is. And I'm not saying because I'm half black I know what the KKK is, because literally everybody else knows what it is. In uh, America. Unless you live under a rock. (laughs) But the fact that she's just like, I don't know if my son knows what this means, like. Blows my mind it's sometimes. So fun. I'm like, don't how. fuck with her. <laughs> and I mean, it's just all good intention, but holy shit, she's a smart lady. I think she's getting less smart. That's what happens when you get older, mm-hmm. um, at least that age. But I'm like, mom, that actually hurts my feeling a little bit. That you think, not that you think little of me, but that you think that I wouldn't be even intelligent enough to know what the kkk is <laughs> and then the fact that you have to bring it up and make sure that i don't name my child with the initials kkk it, it was it was unbelievable but so funny God, sometimes so funny. most of the time she's the best sometimes she's the fucking worst <laughs> she's like jesus mom she was dying laughing too yeah she's like, well you know i don't know i do that to say it yeah, if I was four, you'd be like, hey, maybe don't name your dog KKK <laughs> or your fish. You're like, I'm a fucking 31-year-old man. Oh, you know what the KKK is, mom. Don't send me any more articles. I'm like, what? You're also going to send me an article about the Jews and the Nazis? Like, that didn't happen or wasn't real? Gosh. Anyways. Whew. So, uh, do you want to hit your in the news? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Channel 4 News team, I'm Veronica Corningstone. And I'm Ron Burgundy. Go, Go fuck, fuck yourself, yourself KKK. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Oh, when we were at the doctor on Tuesday, he's like, hey, you still taking your you know, prenatals? What else are you taking? And I was like, oh, I'm taking calcium and I'm taking DHA. And he goes, okay, good. I wanted to make sure you're taking calcium because like, it's really going to start to matter now, so keep taking it. And I was like, eh, okay. So, obviously, I know calcium is good for the body, strong bones, teeth, blah, blah, blah. Um, So, I just kind of wanted to look into it a little bit more, figure out, okay, so why exactly? Like, how much should I be taking? Stuff like that. Um, So, obviously, um, calcium is essential for muscle movement, hormone function, teeth, bones, and actually helps your brain send messages to the rest of the body. Um, And if you... So, babies, obviously... When they're inside your body growing, they take all of your nutrients out of your body so that way they can grow or whether they do it themselves or your body takes it out of your body to put it in your baby, Um, which is why prenatal vitamins are a good thing to make sure that you have enough supply for yourself and the baby. Um, But yeah, so if babies will actually take your calcium out of your bones, they just... Suck it up. Sense, yeah. um, so if you have a calcium deficit, it can lead to high blood pressure, 
uh, preterm birth, low birth weight. You can have numbness and tingling in your fingers, um, and it also can lead to heart issues. Um, so it's recommended that if you're pregnant, you take at least, or in, whether you're taking it or you're supplementing with calcium fortified foods, such as yogurt, milk, cheese, beans, things like that, uh, you want to make sure that you're getting at least a thousand micrograms per day. Um, the supplement that I have is like 600 micrograms or something. Um, but then after like kind of reading like, oh, milk. Yeah, Jeez. I was going to say, you're going to get calcium from some other Yogurt, things that you're eating. You know, so I think I'm fine with just the 600 that I'm taking. But I thought what was interesting is that, I've, so babies are born with more bones in their body than adults. So and they like fuse together, don't they? Yeah. So you, you said like in your book, the cartilage. Flexibility. Yeah. Flexibility is shit. So babies are born with between 270 and 300 bones. Uh, while adults only have 206. But Damn. when babies are born, they actually have between 20 and 30 grams of calcium in their bones already because they're taking it all the micrograms every day out of mom's body into theirs. So Start stealing from you real early on. Just <laughs> let me get a little bit of that. For real. So when you're in the third trimester, um, you actually, well, me, the, the mom transfers between 250 and 350 micrograms of calcium per day. So that's why it's really good wow. to make sure you're eating a lot of calcium every single day because every single day you're passing 300 micrograms to your baby. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, and then just like a little side note, they say vitamin D and calcium are really good and like you need vitamin D to absorb the calcium. And then they also say, do not, <laughs> do not take iron the same time that you're taking calcium. And I read that and I still haven't changed my times because I'm like, fuck, if I try and take one at night, I'm just not going to take it. They say don't take them within two hours of each other. And because the iron will prevent your body from absorbing the calcium <laughs> or the calcium will present your body from absorbing the iron. I don't know which way it is, but yeah. So yeah. they say don't That's take interesting. Those at the same time, but well, yep, that was very interesting. So, I wonder if it's better to take one in the morning and one at night. I would imagine taking calcium before going to sleep is not like, no, does iron give you energy though? Like, I don't think so, it's just good for red blood, yeah. So, I, I don't feel like taking either of them at any certain time is you know going to be a detriment to. You're sleeping or anything no, like that. No. If you take too much calcium, they'll make you constipated. I think they say don't take more than 2,500 micrograms. Fucking everything makes you constipated, man. I love it. I'm really riding this poopy wave, though, so I like it. <laughs> poopy wave. Well, I think it's time to ask the listeners. Okay. Ask the listeners. Hey, Hiller. <laughs> yeah. The Jews are real. Oh, God. So... Time to ask the listeners. And this week's question for the listeners was, what is your... Nope, nope, that was not the question. The actual question, that was last week's question. This week's question was, did your parents ever physically discipline you as a child? And if so, do you think it had a negative effect on you in the long term? Now, I'll start off with my own situation. Uh, yes, we got spanked and stuff as kids. I think my sister did a bit more than I did. One, she was older. Two, she did more bad shit. Three, I see her doing that bad shit, and I'm like, eh, I probably shouldn't do that. I ain't trying to get spanked. Hmm. You said your parents never spanked you? No. Okay. So did it negatively impact me? Not that I'm aware of. Um, you know, it wasn't like my parents were beating me all the time or anything, uh, but I'm sure when I did shit where I fucked up, and, you know, I wasn't doing the stuff that I was supposed to. And I've been told many times, you know, actions come with uh, consequences. consequences. Again, do I think maybe it affected my relationship with my parents at that point in time a little bit? But in the long run, eh, I mean, I don't hold it against them. And I don't remember anything being traumatic. So that's good. 
Um, again, I think that's placed, you know, certain point in times, maybe it's more appropriate than others. And I'm sure they weren't hitting me as like a three, four, five year old, you know. Yeah, I have no idea what age people actually get spanked. Me either. My, I think one of my I brothers remember. said that my dad spanked them one time. But I, I mean, I don't think I ever was. And I don't think, I know my mom did it. I know my stepdad never did. Whether or not my brother's real dad did, I, I don't know. I have no idea. And that's something we'll, we've talked about before and we'll discuss yeah. more as we go because it's viewed very differently by a lot of people. And I think it was much more popular before yeah, than it is now. So let's, Michael Hunter said, oh, my parents used to fuck me up. Eventually, I learned all their signature moves and I got my shit together. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, this guy said, yes, they spanked me when I was out of line. No long-term negative effects. Taught discipline and encouraged me to choose right over wrong. Okay. Okay. Uh, this person said, yes, my parents were physical disciplinaries. It abs it's absolutely the reason we gently parent. The, that physical discipline was extremely difficult for me. Still hard to talk about, but it plays a big part of my ADHD and PTSD. Oh, dang. Again, I think... To what extent are you taking it as a parent? I think that's a huge factor because there's wide ranges yeah, of, yeah. you know, disciplining your kid, spanking your kid, and whooping your kid's ass. Yikes. Uh, Steve Cordez said, my parents did whoop my ass. I think it taught me respect, honestly. With that being said, though, I don't whoop my daughter at all. Just firm about my request, and it seems to work. Yeah, so Nice. I think that's the kind of the go-to is like, hey, I think they should fear you a little bit as well. It's like, listen, I'm the fucking grown up here. Like, do what I say. I'll tell you why. Yeah. But do what I say. Yeah. Um, this person very passionate about the other direction. Mm -hmm. No child should ever be spanked. Ever. That is called assault. Spanking children is assaulting them. Spanking children comes from an internal place of non-regulated emotions people spank children who lack emotional people who spank children lack emotional intelligence they spank because they don't know how to communicate handle or work with a child one thing i hate in this world is people who are fucking cruel to children and that includes assaulting them whether it's for discipline or not she said it gets me very heated hmm. yep uh let's see We've got... I, I mean, I think that there's a lot of discussion, too, about that. Like, are, are you doing it because you're that angry? Or, like, where is it coming from? Is it an uh, inability to control your emotion? And mm -hmm. there could have been a better way to handle it? Are you doing it, like, there's... Like, we could have a whole podcast episode on that. But yep. Yeah. We'll definitely talk more about this. Yeah, for sure. Um, this person said, no, they didn't for me. It would have been scarring. Like I said, it's hard to say because how do you know it would be scarring if it didn't happen to you? I know it happened to me. I probably thought it would have been scarring, but no issues with it. And it's not like I got whooped with a belt or anything. Get a few good spanks sometimes when you're being a fucking asshole. Um, again, depending what age you are, I'm sure that's a huge factor. Last set here. Um, yes, some kids need it and know it won't affect them in the long run, unless it's out of line. Uh, I got one big, that was from a woman. I got one big, big spanking and never did anything again because I was afraid of getting spanked. Feel that? Uh, my dad said, no, never. <laughs> <laughs> I had extremely, I had an extremely strict father and the punishment definitely impacted me negatively. Again, how far are you taking it? Uh, Yes, they did, but I'm more traumatized by all of the yelling and the lack of praise I got. Mm. That's a good topic to talk about. Yeah, definitely. And then, yes, I would never spank my kids and have never spanked my kids. So, yep. again, topic to talk about at another point in time, but figured I'd bring that up. We're at the one hour mark, so let's go ahead and hit these. Uh, I love the 90s. Yeah, okay. 
and we can uh, wrap this up. I think I got some good ones here for you today. I really appreciate everyone opening their hearts and, you know, if it brings up bad memories, I'm sorry, but it's really helpful to see these different aspects. So thanks for your input and your honest input. And Definitely. I just wanted to say that real quick. Because it's all a learning process. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's one of those things, much like being in our insurance business that we're in, you learn a little bit and you're like, oh, wow, I didn't realize I still have everything to learn. There's yeah. still so many different things about parenting that you kind of learn as you go. I'm sure my parents are still learning things about parenting. It's just parenting at different stages. Yeah, and I'm sure them being a yeah, caretaker to an infant again is much different from when they were being the caretaker yeah. to you guys. They're like, how did I do this? <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Let's get out of What's that? I love Nandi. I love enchiladas. I love Nandi. Oh, yeah. Okay, Kool Aid. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> there's this one drop I want to try real quick. I don't know what it is. Uh oh. Thanks a lot, you idiot. Thanks a lot, Rachel. Rachel. Thanks a lot, Rachel. <laughs> All right, that was a good one. Thanks a lot, oh, Rachel. These are some flashbacks of... Uh, God, thanks a lot. Of our old podcast. Some great That's drops. completely different from this one. Rachel. Rachel. Okay, questions for you. Question numero uno. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What character did Arnold Schwarzenegger play in Batman? Oh, in Batman? You're fucking killing me. Which Batman? <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, come on. He wasn't Batman. No, he was definitely not Batman. He you wasn't have five Joker. I don't know. That's wrong. <laughs> Incorrect. Really? Mr. Freeze. Oh, gosh. In Batman and Robin, where what? fucking what's-her-name played uh, Poison Ivy. Oh, gosh. Uh, I didn't even remember Kill he Bill. was in that movie. Jesus, dude. Wow. You I don't think I've seen my feelings sometimes. <laughs> I haven't seen that in so long. I think we had God. it on VHS. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so upsetting. I'm pretty sure. Not 100%. I'm going to get a pretty ball Pretty sure. Out. Actually, I am 100%. That was Clooney as Batman. Oh. God, the fact that you forget that. You fucking suck. Yeah. I don't, All right. Hey, good way try. Way back in the memory <laughs> banks. <laughs> All right. Next. This is next wrong. Wrong. <laughs> next question. What is the dashing young star's name who played the lead role of Rick O'Connell in the movie series? The Mummy that released in 1999. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the actor's name in the movie? Uh -huh. Like his character? No, no, no. Oh, uh, his name was Rick O'Connell, the actual guy that plays Rick O'Connell, the guy that plays the lead in the movie. God, and I, I, I'm picturing him, but I don't know his name. Oh, okay, this is so disappointing. But that's wrong. <laughs> Incorrect. Starts with a B. I don't know. Brendan Fraser. No. Nope, never would have got that. <sighs> I'm so bad with names. God. Obviously. God. I'll, I'll get one of them someday. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. I, I really think, you know what? This I'm going to give you the last one last, or the third one last, because I want you to finish strong. <laughs> what year was Walt Disney's classic Hercules released? Ooh. 1996, 1997, 1998, 1999. Okay, let me... Hercules, Hercules. I love that movie. Okay, let's see. 
Ninety six. That's wrong. Seven. <laughs> <Congratulations>. <laughs> I should have went with my first guess. Yes. Cause I'll, okay, so I was thinking like, okay, I remember um, being in middle school and so like my first thought goes, okay, when did nine eleven happen? Because I was in seventh grade. And then I go back a little bit, and then I go back a little bit, and then I'm that's like, "That's nice. You tie everything to 9/11." That's, that's, how, that's like how I d- figure out if I'm how old I am in certain things. Makes sense. <laughs> I, don't know, makes sense. I don't know why that's where my mind goes. Um, and then I remember we had the school play where we dressed up as Greek god and goddesses, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and yep. gosh, that's 97. I remember that makes doing a lot that. Of sense. Okay, ninety-seven. Last one. This one has the office written all over it. Oh God! I'm really gonna test you here. This movie came out in nineteen ninety-eight. Michael Scott refers to it in an episode of The Office, talking about Devil Wears Prada. No, no. <laughs> he thought this animated movie was much better than the other. It's talking in regards to a story he's telling about Woody Allen. What is that movie? It's an animated movie. He's comparing it to another movie that he thinks is um, much better. Oh my God. You have three seconds. Jesus Christ, I can't think of it. No answer? But that's wrong. <sighs> Incorrect. Woody Allen fan. Although I've only seen ants, but Oh, and Bugs you, Life. What I respect about that man Damn. is that when he was going through all of that stuff that came out in the press about how ants was just a ripoff of a Bugs Life, he stayed Damn. true to his films. Or at least the film that I saw, which again was ants. Thing is, I thought better. Bugs Life was better, much better than Ants. Point is, don't listen to your critics. Listen to your fans. Don't listen to your critics, Dang. folks. Listen to your fans. I'm going to say that was an 0 for 4. <laughs> yep, that's, uh, that's not good. And I bet these are only going to get worse as my memory just gets more shit and more shit. I agree. I totally agree. Well, that's the fun of the game. We play, you lose. <laughs> It's fun. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Yeah. Well, it's funny because if you were to ask me the same questions la- or next week, I don't even know if I would remember them. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, real quick, I just wanted to say to everyone that my majority of my shorts are no longer fitting me. So, getting to that it. point. I'm getting there. We're also putting together our list of people for the baby shower and everything. So, mm-hmm. stay tuned. <laughs> it's been real, y'all. It's been fun. We're having a little boy. We're having a boy. Little king. See you next week. Love you. Love you too, baby. Peace.